they're in the military for a year or for 40 years. All of the men and women who enlist in our armed forces do it to serve their country. But as Tyler Melito joins us in studio to explain, some veterans, including Mount Sterling Mayor Al Botts, continue to serve their community even after their time in the military. After leaving Mount Sterling as a teenager to join the Marines, the 40-year plan never included becoming mayor for Albots or even joining city council for the city he grew up in. But that's part of the beauty of life. You never know what will happen. In 1989, a then 18-year-old Al Boss decided he wasn't ready for college just yet, so he opted to enlist in the United States Marine Corps. I wanted to see the world, and I wanted to uh, see, you know, everything that was out there. I wanted to be a part of something much bigger than myself. For 20 years, Bot served in the Marines, and during that time, he saw the good. I was part of the first Gulf War, uh, so that experience, being a part of troops that helped liberate Kuwait, uh, really kept me in the Marine Corps because I did not want to miss that next big event. But also had to deal with some of the bad. When diplomacy fails, you know, the United States military is sent in and the Marine Corps gets sent into a lot of situations which are uh, very hellish. Even still, despite the uncertainty each day brought, the pride that comes with wearing the stars and stripes is something Bots holds in high regard. When you're in the military and you meet someone overseas, you may be the first person they've ever met from the United States of America. And our message was always, and the Marine Corps uses this, you know, no better friend, no worse enemy. Um, so we want to make sure that those around the world see us as being friends and, and allies. And that passion for serving has spilled over into Botts' post-military life, where he now serves as the mayor of Mount Sterling. When the opportunity presents itself to serve your community, the community that I grew up in, and look, this community was so good to me. Um, you know, great family. Uh, I had parents of my friends that looked out for me, teachers, coaches, great people that helped build this community. They set me up for success. And then so it's my turn now. Botts wants to empower the next generation, both in the community he now serves. I'll tell them the good, the bad, the ugly about my service, um, but I want them to go do that. We need this next generation to step up, to be leaders. And in military service. It takes a special type of person to, you know, put their name on the dotted line to to raise their hand and swear to support and defend this great constitution of ours. Um, so, you know, don't lose faith. America stands behind you. Bot says the thing he will take the most from his two eras of service, both in the military and then now as mayor, is just all the friendships he's made with people, not just from Mount Sterling, not just from Kentucky, but across the United States and from around the globe. Friendship and also love. Yes. He met his wife when he was serving in Africa, too. Yes, we mentioned in the last hour he met his wife while deployed in Africa, and he was telling me while we were talking um, when we were doing the interview that like, no one ever says, like, oh, I just want to go here. What he did, he just went through a mil uh, Marine's book, all the places he can go, where he can be deployed, put his finger on a spot, kind of Steve Hartman-esque. Wow. Ended up in Africa, met his wife while he was there as well. Oh, life-changing. Wow. Yes. That is awesome. Well,